Jay. You said that um, Alaki was demonstrably and provably involved in operations. Do you plan on demonstrating? I, you know, I should step back. He is clearly, I mean, provably maybe a legal term. I, I, I think it has been well established, and it has certainly been the position of this administration and the previous administration, uh, that he is uh, a leader in, uh, was a leader in AQAP, that AQAP was uh, a, a definite threat, was operational, planned, and carried out uh, terrorist attacks that uh, fortunately did not succeed. Uh, but were extremely serious, including the ones specifically that I mentioned in terms of the uh, uh, would-be Christmas Day bombing in 2009 and the uh, attempt to bomb uh, numerous cargo planes headed for the United States. And uh, he was obviously also a, an active recruiter of al-Qaeda uh, terrorists. So uh, I, I don't think anybody in the field would dispute any of those assertions. You don't think anybody else in the government would dispute I think any, I, I, I wouldn't know of any credible terrorist expert who would dispute the fact that he was a leader in al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula and that he was uh, operationally involved in terrorist attacks against uh, American interests and citizens. Do you plan on bringing before the public any proof of these charges? Again, this is the question is makes us, you know, it has been bedded within it uh, assumptions about the circumstances of his death that I'm just not going to address. How on earth does it have? What is it? I don't. I really don't understand. How do he's dead? You you you, 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 are, you are asserting that he had operational mm -hmm. uh, control of the cargo uh, plot and the Abdul Muttalib plot. Mm -hmm. He's now dead. Mm -hmm. Can you show us, or the American people, or has a judge been shown? Uh, well, again, Jake, I'm just, uh, I, I'm not going to go any further than what I've said about, uh, about the circumstances of his death and uh, the fine. case against them, which, again, you're linking, and, and uh, I think that... No, you, you said that he was Jake. responsible for these things. I'm yes, but again... Is there going to be any evidence presented? Uh, you know, I don't have anything for you on that. Do you not see at all... Does the administration not see at all how a president asserting that he has the right to kill an American citizen without due process and that he's not going to even explain why he thinks he has that right is troublesome to some people? I, I wasn't aware of any of those things that you said actually happening. And, and, and again, I'm not going to address the circumstances of uh, Lockheed's death. I think it's, uh, again, it is an important fact that this terrorist who was actively plotting, uh, had plotted in the past and was actively plotting to attack uh, Americans and American interests uh, is dead. But I'm not going to, from any angle, discuss the circumstances uh, of his death. Do you know that the Center for Constitutional Rights and the ACLU tried to get permission to represent Alaki? On, uh, his father had, had asked them to do that. Uh, but they needed to get permission from the Treasury Department and so that they could challenge his being on this targeted killing list. And the administration, the Obama administration, refused to let them represent him. To not even, he, he couldn't even have the ACLU representing him. That well, I, I would send those questions or take you those questions to Treasury or, or Justice. I don't, I don't have anything on that for you. What do you think constitutional law professor Barack Obama would think of this? I think he spoke about it today. <laughs>